Hi everyone, welcome to Testbot India. So this is our second session of logical reasoning. In the previous session, we learned about the various types of arrangements and puzzles. So in this session, we will solve some more arrangements and some more puzzles. So that we we will be um, familiar with lots of puzzles, various types of uh, arrangements before you attempt cat. So let's move to the first set. So pause the video and try to solve by your own. In case you are unable to solve, you can resume and watch the solution. So, four wealthy kings, Ford, Hercules, Plainview and Daniel each bought one of four different handicraft items, an Indian table, a vase, a flute and a wheel at the International Handicrafts Fair. The following information is available about the person, the handicraft item purchased and their prices. The total amount paid for these four handicraft items was rupees one lakh, and the costliest handicraft was priced rupees forty thousand more than the cheapest. So the first statement here is Ford didn't purchase the costliest handicraft, and neither he did purchase a flute. So here we have four kings, right? We have four kings. First statement here: Ford didn't purchase the costliest handicraft. And neither he did uh, he did purchase a flute. Okay, so this is not a direct statement. So we will ignore this statement as of now. Plain view didn't per didn't buy the costliest or the cheapest handicraft, but had paid twenty thousand for his handicraft. So here, plain view, plain view paid twenty thousand rupees for his handicraft. The wheel is the costliest, and the Indian table is the cheapest among the handicraft items. So among the four handicraft items, right? So the wheel is the costliest, and which one is the cheapest? The Indian table. Indian table is the cheapest among all these four, right? So Hercules purchased the vase and had paid rupees ten thousand more than what Plainview had paid. So how much did Plainview pay? How much did he pay? He paid twenty thousand. But Hercules purchased the vase and paid ten thousand more than what Plainview had paid. So if Plainview pays twenty thousand, of course he paid twenty thousand. So Hercules paid twenty thousand plus ten thousand, right? Ten thousand. So this is equal to thirty thousand. Okay. right yeah so let's go to the first statement now ford didn't purchase the costliest handicraft and neither did he purchase a flute okay so ford didn't purchase a flute so he didn't purchase flute and he didn't purchase the costliest handicraft so which one is costliest among the four wheel is costliest right so he didn't purchase wheel also so just strike out Now come to the second statement. Plainview didn't per, didn't buy the costliest or the cheapest handicraft. So Plainview didn't buy the costliest, which is wheel. So strike out this block, and he didn't buy the cheapest handicraft. Which one is cheapest? Indian table, right? So he didn't buy this one also. Okay. Now now come to the fourth statement. Hercules purchased the vase. So Hercules purchased. the vase so if hercules purchased the vase then no one will purchase the no one will purchase vase right so strike out for everyone you can strike out the vase uh, column for everyone so now what happened ford is left with only one option which is which is it it means indian table so he definitely purchased indian table so if he purchased indian table no one will purchase that right so strike off strike out the remaining so if hercules buys vase then he doesn't buy any other thing right so just strike out the remaining ones so here you can observe plain view is left with only one option which is flute so he should he should purchase he should have purchased flute so if he had purchased flute then daniel won't purchase it so daniel is left with only 
wheel right so wheel was purchased by daniel flute by plainview vase by hercules and the indian table by ford so here hercules spent 30000 rupees plainview spent 20000 rupees and the total items i mean the total amount that was paid for all the four handicrafts was 1000 uh, sorry 1 lakh rupees right 1 lakh rupees so from this we can subtract this 30000 and 20000 right we can subtract 30000 and 20 20000 so we are left with 50000 right so what is this see 30000 means the price of vase 20000 means the price of flute right the price of flute so this 50000 is the price of both both the wheel and the indian table right so both the wheel and the indian table and the costliest see and the costliest handicraft was priced rupees 40000 more than the cheapest right so this is 50000 50000 is the combination of both the prices of vase uh, sorry wheel and indian table right so this this is the cheapest indian table is the cheapest so we don't know the exact price of the indian table so let us assume it to be x right let us assume the price of indian table be x right to be x so what is the price of wheel the price of wheel is x plus 40000 why x plus 40000 here we can see that the costliest handicraft was priced rupees 40000 more than the cheapest so 40000 more than the cheapest so if the cheapest uh, item the price of cheapest item is x then the price of costliest is 40000 plus x or x plus 40000 right so x plus 40000 plus this x is equal to 50000 right so 2x 2x will be equal to 50000 minus 40000 that is equal to 10000 right so so here i will write x is equal to x is equal to 10000 divided by 2 which is 5000 right 5000 so what is the value of uh, indian table indian table's value is 5000 and what is the value of uh, this wheel 45000 right hope you understood this after facing yet another world cup debacle so what is meant by debacle debacle means a complete failure right a complete failure so one more uh, synonym for debacle is fiasco you might have heard about this fiasco right so this is a synonym for debacle so debacle here means a complete failure okay so after facing yet another world cup debacle the bcci is in search of a new coach for the team okay it's shortlisted five persons a b j w and c each of them is from a different country among australia india japan pakistan and canada not necessarily in the in the order at present each of them is coaching the team of a different country among australia bangladesh china wales and bermuda not necessarily in the order the following details were were also de- deserved about their particulars so here we have taken a b j w and c as the names of the coaches the shortlisted persons right and on the right hand side we have taken the country so which they belong to and on the left hand side we have taken the name of the country in which they will coach okay they will be giving the training right so let's move on to the first statement for any person each of his three particulars his name his name of the country 
of the country that he is coaching at coaching from where he is and the name of at present starts with a different letter okay so it shouldn't be the same so if if we consider this example b who is b buchanan right buchanan so uh, the name starts with b so b shouldn't coach with any of the country which starts with b so b shouldn't coach bangladesh b shouldn't coach what is this country bermuda right so b uh, see what is uh, given here is for any person each of his three particulars his name of the country and from where he is and the name of the country that he is coaching right so these three shouldn't match okay and these three must start with a different letter and what more is coaching australia and john is from neither australia nor pakistan so john is not from australia so just strike strike out australia block and john is also not from pakistan so strike out this he is not from pakistan and what more is coaching australia so what more where is what more yeah w what more is coaching australia so if he is coaching sorry 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 what more is coaching australia so this is uh, these are the countries where the coaching uh, is being assigned right so these are the countries where they belong to these five belong to so coaching part comes in left hand side and the native they they belong uh, they the country to which they belong comes in the right hand side okay so as what what more uh, coaches australia no one should coach australia right and what more shouldn't coach for any other country either so just strike out each and every block okay so buchanan is not coaching china okay buchanan is not coaching china so cancel this and the person who is coaching bermuda is from canada okay so the person who is coaching bermuda bermuda is from canada okay okay anshman is neither from canada nor from pakistan so anshman is neither from canada nor from pakistan and also the person is bangladesh so anshman is neither from canada nor from pakistan and also the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh right so the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh the person who is coaching bermuda is from canada right so a is not from canada so he shouldn't coach bermuda so here the one of the conditions which is given is the three names uh, the three letters should in match right what are the three the name of the country the and the place where they are coming from and to the country which they are giving they are going to give coaching right so these three names should in match these the first uh, letters of these three names should in match so b shouldn't give coaching to bermuda right and j shouldn't be from japan a shouldn't a shouldn't be from australia and c shouldn't be from china and c shouldn't be shouldn't uh, come from canada so strike out this now if we consider statement 3 the person the latter part the latter part of statement 3 the person who is coaching bermuda is from canada so the person who is coaching bermuda so a shouldn't coach b doesn't coach w so j we have two choices either j or c coaches bermuda right but the coach must be from canada as c is not from canada so j must coach bermuda so j is the only one option here 
and strike out the remaining and j is from canada so he shouldn't be from india okay so if j is from canada and no one is from no one is from canada so strike out the remaining blocks so as buchanan starts with b letter b so he shouldn't try in bangladesh right and if we consider the last statement the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh so the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh so b shouldn't try in uh, coach pakistan so just strike out this and um, w or who is w w is what more so what more doesn't uh, coach bangladesh so he shouldn't from he shouldn't be from pakistan so the only option which is left is c who is chapel so chapel trains coaches pakistan so just cancel all this and he he's from pakistan he trains Bang bangladesh okay so just cancel all of them and here we have this option left so cancel this right so here this is the only option left so tick mark so as whatmore is coaching australia he shouldn't train i mean he shouldn't come from australia because all the three the letters of the, this for the first letters of all the three particulars shouldn't match not even two right not even two should match okay so buchanan should be from australia because this is the only vacant part and everything got cancelled right so no one is from australia so this is the only vacant part so buchanan is from australia so if he is from australia he shouldn't be from any other country right so this is the maximum um, we can solve and he who is a anshman can be from india or from uh, japan and here who is w vatmore yeah vatmore can be from india or can be from japan so if anshman is from india vatmore will be from japan and vice versa right if anshman is from japan vatmore will be from india so we are leaving this so we do not know uh, about this because we don't have some other information so this is cat 2019 set sorry 2016 set right cat 2016 so four guys sujit vikrant nikhil and ran vijay participated in the reality adventure series rodi and um, finished in the first four positions not necessarily in that order each of these guys was wearing a different colored cap and each cap had one different number written out written over it from among the numbers 1 2 3 and 4 the following information is known about them suchit okay Such, suchit won the series and was wearing a purple colored cap so let's draw it first so what is the first statement here suchit won the series and was wearing a purple colored cap so suchit won the series so he is ranked first right i'm writing the rank above above it okay above this i'm writing so suchit was wearing a purple colored cap so he is wearing purple colored cap so he doesn't wear any one of the other caps right any of the other so what's the next one the guy who came third in the third in the series wore the cap number 1 okay so cap number 1 goes to the guy who came third in the series that means who ranked third in the series vikrant finished the series ahead of a guy wearing the black cap but he wasn't wearing the cap number 2 okay so vikrant finished the series ahead of the guy wearing the black cap right so if vikrant finished the series ahead of someone vikrant shouldn't be the last guy right so he shouldn't get rank number 4 he should be either 3 or 2 right he shouldn't be of rank 4 so vikrant must be either ranked 2 or rank 3 right so what is the next statement here 
only one guy finished okay okay he wasn't wearing the cap cap number 2 so vikrant finished the series ahead of the guy wearing the black cap but he wasn't wearing the cap number 2 right so vikrant is not wearing cap number 2 so in first case sujit as sujit won the won the rodi right won the series he shouldn't be wearing cap number 1 right because rank cap number 1 goes to the guy who ranked third so sujit ranked 1 so so he shouldn't be wearing cap number 1 and here it is directly given that vikrant vikrant wasn't wearing the cap number 2 so vikrant shouldn't wear cap number 2 so cancel this okay so here we must cancel all this so what's the next statement here only one guy finished in the same position as the number written on his table what does this mean so if we consider cap number 4 so the rank of that guy must also be 4 right so cap number 4 and rank number 4 these numbers must be same or cap number 3 and rank number 3 so the guy who who finished who ended up with rank rank 3 must wear cap number 3 so this is the meaning of this right so what is what exactly is given here is only one guy finished in the same position as the number written on his cap okay nikhil bet the bet the guy wearing the cap number 3 and ranvijay wore a black cap so what do you understand from this statement nikhil bet the guy wearing the cap number 3 so nikhil bet some other guy so nikhil shouldn't be shouldn't rank fourth i mean shouldn't rank last because nikhil already bet some other guy so nikhil's rank must be either 3 or 2 if vikrant's rank is number 2 nikhil's rank is number 3 if it is number 3 then here it will be number 2 ranvijay is only left with the rank number 4 right so ranvijay ranks number 4 and here what is given ranvijay wore a black cap so ranvijay wore a black cap so strike out this strike out the remaining and ranvijay shouldn't wear remaining caps and no one should wear ranvijay's black cap and here it is stated that nikhil bet the guy wearing the cap number 3 so nikhil bet the person who is wearing cap number 3 so nikhil shouldn't wear cap number 3 so as cap number 1 goes to the person who ranked number 3 so rv ranked number 4 right ranvijay ranked number 4 so he shouldn't wear cap number 1 he doesn't get cap number 1 so cap number 1 goes to either vikrant or nikhil but we do not know as of now we will know later bomida so j is the only one option here and strike out the remaining and j is from canada so he shouldn't be from india okay so if j is from canada and no one is from no one is from canada so strike out the remaining blocks so as buchanan starts with b letter b so he shouldn't try in bangladesh right and if we consider the last statement the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh so the person from pakistan is coaching bangladesh so b shouldn't try and uh, coach pakistan so just strike out this and um, w or who is w w is watmore so watmore doesn't uh, coach bangladesh so he shouldn't from he shouldn't be from pakistan so the only option which is left is c who is chapel so chapel trains coaches pakistan so just cancel all this and he he is from pakistan he trains bang bangladesh okay so just cancel all of them and here we have this option left so cancel this right so here this is the only option left so tick mark so as whatmore is coaching australia he shouldn't train i mean he shouldn't come from australia 
because all the three the letters of the, this for the first letters of all the three particulars should in match not even two right not even two should match okay so buchanan should be from australia because this is the only vacant part and everything got cancelled right so no one is from australia so this is the only vacant part so buchanan is from australia so if he is from australia he shouldn't be from any other country right so this is the maximum um, we can solve and uh, he who is a anshman can be from india or from uh, japan and here who is w vatmore yeah vatmore can be from india or can be from japan so if anshman is from india vatmore will be from japan and vice versa right if anshman is from japan vatmore will be from india so we are leaving this so we do not know uh, about this because we don't have some other information so this is cat 2019 set sorry 2016 set right cat 2016 so four guys sujit vikrant nikhil and ranvijay participated in the reality adventure series rodi and um, finished in the first four positions not necessarily in that order each of these guys was wearing a different colored cap and each cap had one different number written out written over it from among the numbers 1 2 3 and 4 the following information is known about them suchit okay Such, suchit won the series and was wearing a purple colored cap so let's draw it first so what is the first statement here suchit won the series and was wearing a purple colored cap so suchit won the series so he is ranked first right i am writing the rank above above it okay above this i am writing so suchit was wearing a purple colored cap so he is wearing purple colored cap so he doesn't wear any one of the other caps right any of the other so what's the next one the guy who came third in the third in the series Wore the cap number one. Okay, so cap number one goes to the guy who came third in the series. That means who ranked third in the series. Vikrant finished the series ahead of a guy wearing the black cap, but he wasn't wearing the cap number two. Okay, so Vikrant finished the series ahead of the guy wearing the black cap. Right. So if Vikrant finished the series ahead of someone, Vikrant shouldn't be the last guy, right? So he shouldn't get rank number four. He should be either three or two, right? He shouldn't be of rank four. So Vikrant must be either rank two or rank three, right? So what is the next statement here? only one guy finished okay okay he wasn't wearing the cap cap number 2 so vikrant finished the series ahead of the guy wearing the black cap but he wasn't wearing the cap number 2 right so vikrant is not wearing cap number 2 so in first case sujit as sujit won the won the rodi right won the series he shouldn't be wearing cap number 1 right because rank cap number 1 goes to the guy who ranked third so shuchit ranked 1 so so he shouldn't be wearing cap number 1 and here it is directly given that vikrant vikrant wasn't wearing the cap number 2 so vikrant shouldn't wear cap number 2 so cancel this okay so here we must cancel all this So what's the next statement here? Only one guy finished in the same position as the number written on his table. What does this mean? So if we consider cap number four, so the rank of that guy must also be four, right? So cap number four and rank number four, these numbers must be same. Or cap number three and rank number three. So the guy who who finished, who ended up with rank rank three. must wear cap number 
so this is the meaning of this right so what is what exactly is given here is only one guy finished in the same position as the number written on his cap okay nikhil bet the bet the guy wearing the cap number 3 and ranvijay wore a black cap so what do you understand from this statement nikhil bet the guy wearing the cap number 3 so nikhil bet some other guy so nikhil shouldn't be shouldn't rank fourth i mean shouldn't rank last because nikhil already bet some other guy so nikhil's rank must be either 3 or 2 if vikrant's rank is number 2 nikhil's rank is number 3 if it is number 3 then here it will be number 2 ranvijay is only left with the rank number 4 right so ranvijay ranks number 4 and here what is given ranvijay wore a black cap so ranvijay wore a black cap so strike out this strike out the remaining and ranvijay shouldn't wear remaining caps and no one should wear ranvijay's black cap and here it is stated that nikhil bet the guy wearing the cap number three so nikhil bet the person who is wearing cap number three so nikhil shouldn't wear cap number three so as cap number one goes to the person who ranked number three so rv ranked number four right ranvijay ranked number four so he shouldn't wear cap number one he doesn't get cap number one so cap number one goes to either vikrant or nikhil but we do not know as of now we will know later so what is still given silver colored cap had two written over it so silver colored cap had rank number two right and so does vikrant get uh, this color that does vikrant get silver colored cap no right because he already has uh, we already made uh, that into mark right in this slot we, we already made the into mark and so does ranvijay get this colored cap silver colored cap no because he already has black colored cap so he doesn't get cap number two does suchit get cap number two no he already has purple colored cap so he doesn't get cap number two because cap number two is a silver colored cap right so he doesn't get so only nikhil can get cap number two so cancel all these slots and um, nikhil gets the silver colored cap so you can cancel all the remaining slots and vikrant is left with only pink colored cap so tick vikrant now it's clear that nikhil gets cap number two and his rank is also two right his rank is also two so Vikrant's rank will be 3 as Nikhil's rank is number 2, right? So he gets uh, cap number 2 and his rank is 2. So both get matched, right? And what about, uh, and now uh, Vikrant is left with pink colored cap. So we feel that now Vikrant is rank number 3. So he shouldn't have any other cap which has number 3. So he, he shouldn't get rank number cap number three because nikhil has already got rank number two and cap number two so one more person one more person's uh, cap and rank shouldn't get matched right so vikrant won't get cap number three here if we observe cap number one is the person who is ranked number three so who is ranked number three vikrant gets rank number three so he gets cap number one he gets cap number one so you can cancel the remaining slots and what about uh, Ranvijay? His rank is number 4. As his rank is number 4, he shouldn't get cap number 4. So he must get cap number 3. So if he gets cap number 3, Sushit gets cap number 4. Right? Six friends, Jaya, Debesha, Manisha, Nisha, Vijaya and Surja visited a shopping mall. The mall had six floors and they all visited different floors where their intended shopping articles were present. Each shopper purchased only one item from DVD player, skincare cream, books, cold drinks, jeans and pen drive. No two of them bought the same item and each item was available only on one floor. So let's move on to the first statement. One of the shoppers who was shopping on the fourth floor 
saw manisha going up the going up the st- staircase right so if manisha was going up the staircase and so this was seen by the one who is in fourth floor okay so then uh, what happens is manisha must be either going to fifth floor or sixth floor right if the if a person who who was shopping on fourth floor saw manisha going up the staircase that means further moving up then it must be either fifth floor or sixth floor right so let's keep this aside as a reference okay jaya and vijaya didn't buy a pair of jeans so jaya didn't buy a pair of jeans and vijaya also so there is jaya yeah, yeah here pair of jeans so this is dvd this is skin care this is uh, books so vijaya also didn't buy a pair of jeans so strike off this strike out this okay so this is a uh, cold drink this is jeans and this is pen drive so these are the floors right these are the floors from 1 to 6 okay skin care cream is available on the fourth floor so on the fourth floor skin care cream is available okay surja bought a pen drive where is surja here surja bought a pen drive so he she doesn't purchase anything and no one purchases pen drive except surja okay she didn't shop at the first floor so surja didn't shop at the first floor that means pen drive is from some other floor okay let's move on to the next statement debesha did, did her shopping on the sixth floor so where is debesha yeah here she did shopping on the sixth floor so no one did shopping on the sixth floor and debesha did didn't do any shopping in remaining floors and she didn't buy a dvd player or cold drinks so debesha didn't buy a dvd player or cold drinks right books are available on the second floor so books are available on the second floor books are available on the second floor jaya and nisha didn't buy books so jaya didn't buy books and nisha didn't buy books okay floor or sixth floor manisha won't be shopping in in the first floor second third and fourth right so the only option where manisha must shop is fifth floor okay so if she shops on fifth floor no one shops there so just cancel out so as books are not available on the as books are available available on the second floor and manisha is not she didn't uh, purchase anything on second floor so she shouldn't have bought books so cancel out books and um, here debesha also didn't purchase anything on second floor so she shouldn't have bought books here and the only slot where books must be purchased is this one and books are books were purchased by vijaya so if vijaya purchased books she shouldn't purchase anything here and books are available in on the second floor right so she purchased on second floor so cancel the remaining okay so as the skin care products are available on the fourth floor and debesha didn't purchase anything on fourth floor so cancel skin care here and she is left with only this option in which she purchased jeans so if she purchased jeans no one should purchase jeans right so jeans are available on sixth floor right and this skin care products are available on fourth floor right so skin care products are available on fourth floor and here manisha didn't purchase anything on fourth floor so cancel out skin care products so as surja purchased pen drive on so surja purchased pen drive and here 
on the fourth floor the skincare products are available so we can cancel this because this block is related to skincare products but Sucha purchased pen drive which is irrelevant so the only slot left here is this one which is third floor so Sucha purchased pen drive in the third floor right so cancel the remaining right So we have solved the problem, solved the set completely and we are left with these slots. So if we had information, further information, we would have solved. But this is the maximum where we can solve and according to the questions we can solve it, right? So as per the instructions, we cannot further solve this because this is the maximum where we can in which we can solve right so thank you very much and uh, try to solve some more sets and all the very best